In this video, we will make a timer function inside Jam to Notes. For example, you could use that timer to trigger an effect you made inside Jam to Notes. In Engine Effects, I use this setup to initiate the engine first effects. Here, I drag and drop the engine start timer node group to the setup so you can get an idea of what we are creating. It has a Boolean output that becomes true once the timeline reaches the start frame. Then this output goes from 0 to 1 within this duration period. I enable the attribute text so you can see this clearly. Inside the group node, you can see it's a simple setup. So let's start. I add an input integer node, rename it to start frame, duplicate it and call the next one duration. I set the start frame to 5 and the duration to 25. To access the current time in the animation, I add a scene time node. To see whether the timeline header reached the start frame, I drag from frame out and search for greater than or equal node. I set this to integer and plug this back. Plug the start frame into the second input. Now if I view this, you can see at fifth frame it becomes true. Now let's say you want it to be true only during this period, 25 frames. For that, first we need to know the end frame. We know the start frame and the duration we want the animation to last. So to get the end frame, I simply add duration to the start frame using add math node. To set a boolean to false after it passes the end frame, I drag from the frame and this time search for less than or equal node. Plug the end frame into the second input. Now this argument is true until the animation passes the end frame. But now it is true even before the start frame. So to have this only be true during this 25 frame duration, I need to find the period where both of these arguments are true. For that, I drag from here and search for an boolean math node. Plug the second argument into here. Now we have an output that is true only during this timer. To have that gradually increasing 0 to 1 value during this period, I drag from the frame and this time search for map range node. Here we can set where our range starts and ends. For from min, I plug the start frame. And for the from max, I plug the end frame. Now when the animation goes from the start frame to the end frame, this value will go from 0 to 1. Like that. Let's put all these into a group. Select them and hit Ctrl G. We need start and duration as inputs. So I put a reroute node here. Plug this into input. Hit N to bring this panel and rename the input to start frame. Keep the type as integer. I set the mean to 0 and also if you prefer, you can add a default value as well. We don't need this anymore. And do the same for duration as well. I call it duration. Set it to integer and set the mean value to 0. Delete this as well. Now for the outputs, first we need the start trigger. I plug this to here. Outputs have its dot on the right side. I call this start. I drag this one to output and call it duration. And drag this map range output and I also call it duration. But with the pink and grey colors, I can easily identify which one is which. You can set the min and max to 0 and 1, not necessary. And that's it. I tap out of the group mode. I call the group start timer. 
you can copy paste that name to here as well also change the group color and just like that we have a timer inside jump to nodes and you can see they are working as intended here is a more organized view of the node setup and you can use this to trigger your jump to nodes effects without manually animating them see you in the next one